Greetings from ThemeRex team. Today, step by step, I'll show you how to make a lightning fast website compatible with Core Web Vitals and Google PageSpeed requirements. I will use Kicker WordPress theme because it has everything we need to achieve this goal. Kicker is the fresh theme with the optimized code, it is packed with the 100% Gutenberg skin, it has its own built in lazy load that works even better than the native one. Also, it is AMP compatible that allows you to make a mobile version of your site lighter and faster. So let's try to make a website with Kicker and achieve A score with GT metrics and Google Page Speed. When you download Kicker from ThemeForest, you get a zip file like this. Go ahead and unzip it. You will have a folder with the licensing info, documentation, the theme itself named Kicker and the child theme named Kicker Child. I will install it on the server Hetzner. It's not bad. Please note, slow shared hostings will reduce your site speed so it is better to use good hosting providers. So let's get it started. Go to our site, navigate dashboard, appearance, themes, add new. Then click upload theme and choose the zip file from the folder. You need a zip named kicker. Then click install now. Once installed, click Activate. Then it will offer you to install and activate the ThemeRex add-ons plugin. So let's do that. The next step is the theme activation. Enter your name, email address, and the purchase code. Then click on the Submit button. Then you are headed to a theme dashboard. Here you can install the child theme, skip it and proceed with the installation wizard, or disconnect your license from the current domain. It's a useful feature if you're working on a staging site or want to move the site to another domain. We highly recommend installing the child theme first. Click Install Child Theme and then Upload Theme. Choose File and then use Kicker Child from the same folder. Then click Install Now. When it's done, click Activate. It will take you back to the Setup Wizard. As we can see, the Child Theme button disappeared because we just installed it, but the Disconnect Domain button is still there and we can use it anytime we need. On the next step, you will need to choose the skin. You can check Live Previews and sort through the categories. Let's install and activate the Gutenberg skin. On the next screen, you can choose the plugins. We will select all of them and uncheck those that we currently don't need WooCommerce, Allegro Payments, and Product Labels. Then click on the Install and Activate button. The process may take some time, so be patient. On the next screen, you can install the demo data. You can use partial import and choose the what exactly you want to import pages, theme options, settings, widgets, etc. I will go with make a full import. Please note, full import will erase all the data you currently have on your site, so use it only on new WordPress installation. When the import is done, you are headed to a quick setup window. Here you can customize your color scheme, logo settings, change layout of your pages, edit post page settings, etc. I'll keep default values and press finish. Now let's open our website. Okay, the theme and the demo content were installed successfully. All the hover and appearance effects work just fine. When we scroll down, the progress bar shows us how far we are on the page and if we click on the button, it will take us up. Now let's open one of the posts. It also looks great. Here we have a large featured image progress bar on the top, sticky left sidebar and nicely designed single post on the right side. Also here we have a comment section crafted as a drop down. Now let's customize our theme settings. Go to your dashboard and navigate theme panel 
theme options. First I'll change the logo. Click on the Choose Image button and upload your logo. I will apply the same image for retina displays, but you can upload an image with a higher resolution. Click Save Options. I'll not go through all the settings, I'll just change those that I need. In the block menu I'll change the pagination style to infinite scroll. And also I'll add views to the post meta, so my visitors will be able to see the number of views of each post. Click Save Options. And let's customize the single post. Navigate Blog, Single Posts. As you can see there are plenty of settings that allow you to deeply customize your site. I'll just add a view to the post meta and enable an awesome feature Auto Load Next Posts. Let's save the changes and check them. Ok, the logo has been changed and it is also on the sticky header. Let's open one of the articles. Great, the number of views is there. Also, when the first article is finished, we have the next article auto-loaded. And the progress bar starts over. I'm satisfied with these settings. Let's go back to our main page and customize its look. Go back to the home page. Click Edit page on the top bar. As it was mentioned before, this page is made with Gutenberg. Let's customize it. Click on the first blog and edit its settings on the right side panel. For example, let's choose the category People, remove posts by ID, increase count and make it two posts in two columns. Let's move on. Keep the trending news section and edit the large block. Again click on it, change category to let's say news, pagination style infinite scroll, let's also remove the posts by ID and change count to 3 items. Now let's go to our right side of the page, click on the don't miss section. Since the left side will have an infinite scroll, let's increase the number of posts to 5. And do the same with the next section. Currently it has just one post. Let's make three posts in one column. Click Update to save the changes and then click View Page. Ok, all the changes were applied successfully. We now have two posts in the first section, more posts on the right side and infinite scroll on the left side. We added more content on our main page, but for now we didn't optimize the thing. Let's go to our Google Page Speed service and check it. Let's copy our home page address and analyze it with Google service. Ok, without any optimization the mobile version gives us 42 and the desktop version is 96, which is close to perfect. So we need to focus on our mobile version and make it compatible with core web vitals. It can be easily done with an AMP plugin that comes packed with the theme. Navigate Dashboard. AMP settings. I'll not go through all of the settings, just customize some of them. First, let's change the logo for our AMP version. Next, in the advanced settings, enable mobile redirection and preserve original permalinks. 
This way, mobile users will see the AMP version, while desktop users will see a full version, and disable AMP for desktop. Click Save Changes, return back to Google Page Speed Insights, and click Analyze again. Ok, now it gives us a yellow 80 score. Desktop is still green. As you can see, the mobile AMP version looks a little bit different than the desktop version. You can see that by running your site link with your phone or simply press F12 in your Google Chrome, choose a mobile device and update the page. The browser will emulate the AMP version. All the posts are here. With the AMP plugin, you can customize the look of the mobile version of your site the way you like. Let's go up and return to the full version. Now let's install a caching plugin. Navigate Plugins, Add New. You can use your favorite one, but I'll use WP Optimize. Click Install Now and then Activate. After that, go to the Plugins Settings. Dismiss this message. First, enable the Admin Bar menu. Click Save. Next, open the Database menu. Here you will see various options to choose from. I'll not go through all of them. For now, I'll keep the default ones and click Run Optimization. Be patient, the process may take some time. In the next tab, you can see tables that are being optimized. The tab settings will help you set the timing for clearing your databases. We'll apply the default values and save the changes. Next, let's move to a cache menu. Enable page caching and check the option to generate separate files for mobile devices and save the changes. In the preload tab, you can run a cache preload. It will cache all the pages of your site. Also, let's activate scheduled cache preloading and keep the default option for it. In the Advanced tab, you can customize caching even deeper. Gzip tab says it is fine and static file headers are also fine here. Now go to the Images menu. Enable automatic compressing of newly uploaded images. In the Minifile menu, I'll keep minification disabled because Kicker is already well optimized. On the top bar, you can always drop the cache for all the pages. Let's return to PageSpeed Insights and check the changes on our main page. Please note, your score may vary, so it's always better to take several tests. Ok, now we finally got an A score for mobile devices, though there are still some things to improve. Our desktop version is 97, which is almost perfect. Now let's also check our site with GT metrics. Again, we should keep in mind that the score may vary as well as the requirements from Google and Lighthouse may change over time. Ok, here we also have an A score. By scrolling down you can check some suggestions for improvements, so you can make your site even faster. Now let's open one of our pre-made articles and check how it performs. I know this very article contains not optimized images, so it should be worse. Ok, the mobile version gives us 82. And the desktop version and the desktop version is fine with 97. It's already a wonderful score, but let's try to optimize some of our images on the page. First, let's press F12 and enable network in the console and update the page. On the right side, sort all the resources by size. You will notice that the largest ones are images. They increase the overall size of the page. Let's try to reduce two of them. 
In your dashboard, open your media library. The first image's name is post58. Let's type in 58. Open the image and save on local computer. And let's do the same with the second image, post45. Type in 45, open it, and save it locally. Now let's reduce their sizes. I'll do it with the Photoshop. Let's drop them there. Hotkeys Ctrl Alt I will open the size editor. I will make it 800 pixels and let's save it with lower quality. And let's do the same with the second image. Reduce its size and save it with lower quality. Also, there is one more step you may want to take. It's an image compression. I like tiny PNG online service, but you can use any you like. Just drag and drop our images there. Great, we saved 33% more. Now we can download them one by one or as a zip file. Let's copy and replace our images. Awesome, now our images are ready. Let's go back to our article and click Edit Posts. Let's find our first image. It's in the slider. Click on it and replace it with the lighter version we just made. Scroll down and find the second image. Click on it and also replace it with the compressed version. Click Update and then View Post. OK, the post looks nice. Now we can return to Google Page Speed and track it again. OK, it's much better now. We achieved an A score for mobile devices and as you can see the page is loaded almost immediately. The desktop version is 96. As it was mentioned before, the score may vary. So, to sum up, in order to make a WordPress website compatible with Core Web Vitals, you need to choose a good hosting provider, use fast and optimized WordPress theme like Kicker, Skin Gutenberg, customize the AMP version of your site, Use a caching plugin. Optimize the site's content. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.